Okay, again I have three layers. Here's our original one. I've added a white layer and I've added a purple layer. Here are the three shapes that we created in an earlier exercise. And in the last one I showed you how to click on this and make a mask. Put it on the wrong layer, but there we go make a mask uh, using it uh, the selection part and then make mask command I'm going to delete this let's go back and we'll click on the center one I'm going to hold my command key or control key as I click on mask and this adds a totally different kind of mask it's called a vector mask and the difference between a vector mask and a regular mask is you don't paint on a vector mask like you do a regular mask you don't paint with black and white but you use your uh, tools so I'm going to get my direct selection tool and click on this shape and you'll see that all of my anchor points are there so I can take a particular anchor point and adjust the mask any way I want. Without painting on it at all, just by using the arrow tools. This is a very powerful way of masking out images. Um, that have fairly smooth shapes to them. We'll get into this a little bit more later on.